right, I get some water in here. Right, super secret remote location. There you go. Oh, oh first one here. Hi, man. <laughs> Chubbs. All right, let me get you in here, bud. Morning, Art. Okay. Yes. All right. Let me get you guys in here. Super secret remote location. <laughs> I'll turn up my volume. Yes. Hey, Angelo. Hey, brother. Let me adjust this a little bit. It's too high. You're good. Okay. Let me get the other fellas in here, too. Here comes Nikki. Yeah. Woke up to a uh, beautiful, I had to say, at least six to eight inches of snow outside. Morning, y'all. What's up? <laughs> morning. I got the whole crew shaving with me this morning. So y'all got y'all got snow up there right now? Oh, I mean, yeah. Snow? Yeah. It was like yeah, I, 50 yesterday here. Rub it in. <laughs> I dream of 50. <laughs> <laughs> it rained. It rained, and we had a lot of wind. Though it it wasn't it wasn't a good day. Yeah. Where are you at, Joe? Uh, Virginia, right in the Appalachian Mountains, next to Tennessee and Kentucky. Mm. All right. There we go. What's up, guys? Whoa. Hey, Bill. Hey, how y'all doing? Wait a minute. Did, did someone say snow? Yeah. Yeah. Where? Yeah. Well, here in Southeast Michigan. Well, where I'm at in Oxford, we got uh, probably about a good eight inches of snow last night. Are you kidding me? No, no, I can't even open my front door. So I got to oh my goodness. probably crawl out there. How is it in Pensacola, man? Get my door open. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's, that's a crime, man. It shouldn't be snowing in March, man. <laughs> Michigan, brother. It's not Pensacola, I, Florida. I'll tell you that. I wore <laughs> shorts yesterday. <laughs> Uh, DJ, what's up, right? Yeah, yeah. hey, man. We got Nikki Chase. Nice, man. My first time talking to you guys. That's awesome. Uh, now, DJ, Chuck, where, where, uh, where you live, man? Uh, Appalachian Mountains in Virginia, next to Kentucky and Tennessee. Oh, beautiful area, mountain area. Yeah. How about you, Nikki? Where you live, man? We're in St. Augustine, man, Florida. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. About six hours from you, seven hours from you. Yeah, St. Augustine's beautiful, man. Oh, yeah, it was nice. 80 degrees this weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna, be the, uh, it's gonna be in the mid 70s here. Yeah, we got, we got, uh, we got baseball today at one o'clock, so. <laughs> okay, so you guys are doing the perfect, perfect, awesome, man. It still mm -hmm. gets cold here at night. It, it gets cold here at night, but during the day, it's, it's really warm. Yeah. Yeah, so there was like no way I was gonna be able to get to the uh, to the razor company last night or this morning because we got our roads are just horrible. Um, they haven't even plowed in my park yet this morning, or if they did, I doesn't look like it. So um, got a drone drop of the bat phone from um, from Jason, so we we're able to go live today. <laughs> <laughs> that, um, oh, that's good. That's good. Last I, I was wondering so if that was a different background. Yeah, no, this is a this is the shave den. So, <laughs> but um, show must go on. That's right. <laughs> that's what right. Are you all losing. You want to go around? Yeah, go ahead. All right, you want me to start? All right, it was yeah. uh, it was what was it? Doctor Seuss week at school, so we're going. Behold the what's this? Oh, nice. All right. For Dr. Seuss week, Dom's using, what do we got here? The T3 that Melly Mel sent us, right? We nice. went to Melly Mel, what and then what's that? That's the Copra Con. Copra Con. Copra Con. All right. All right, what are you using? Uh, the Henson. Henson and Maritime. And the Maritime. And I'm going. Uh, because Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss week, and I'm going AKA. I got this custom AK they made me. It's an abalone. With, oh, that's, uh, that's beautiful. Abbey. Yeah, this is really nice. And then I'm going uh, TRC with the Schick. Nice. Right. Very nice. Nice. Awesome. Okay, uh, I'm rocking with... Uh, we can go? 
I'm rocking with my cayenne ball. Love this ball. I've been wanting one of them so bad. They're awesome. Oh, man. Uh, you know what? Uh, you can find these sometimes on the BST forums on Facebook. Yeah. So I got super lucky, and I was able to find this at one of the BST forums. So I got a pretty good deal on this one. So be looking out for it. It'd be surprisingly oh, cool. See a handful sometimes. And I'm rocking with uh, Trotter, BBS.Live theme, brush with the T1 knot. And uh, it's Citrus Week, so hey, my favorite line sent to sell. Nice. With the matchy matchy. And oh, I'm going with the People's Blade, aka J Mac, the Red Island Stabber. Check him out on YouTube, the Canadian Mafia Show, the Wizard Met, and I'm going with my carbon. Graphite titanium. Nice. Very nice. Um, I've got my uh, Grizzly Bay brush. Love and, Grizzly uh, Bay. Let's see. And I'm using uh, Ethos. It's a, I guess it was done with the Razor Company. Yeah, that's nice. And uh, I've got the matching splash. And uh, I'm using the uh, One Blade Razor. With the huh. feather blade, and uh, I'm gonna use the uh, cube pre shade. Very nice. So I got um, undersea. Our Red Evans in honor of the live last night. The spotlight with uh, with Peter. Love that label, by the way. I like them. I like it. <laughs> I know Ken loves the uh, and. Gardner loves the older label. Uh, I've only seen that like once, but I like uh, I like I like them both. And then for splash, I got because I don't have the the matching splash yet. I got uh, unscented uh, Lucido, so I'm gonna use that. Um, and of course, I got my Tres Flores. Can't go with, without that. And I have my AKA Jade. I might call it the Jade Giant um, Razor Company. Brush and it has the AK five knot in there. So how, how is that knot? Oh, dude, it's it's like the AK four, which is much like softer. You know, yeah. kind of like a uh, reminds me of like a T three almost. And the AK seven. So if you were like to kind of mesh those together and have like a newborn, that's this knot. <laughs> so it's got a little bit of the backbone you get from the AK seven, but it has the softness of the AK four and the tips. Gotcha. Very nice, and it looks it looks really good in this uh, um, in this handle. Love I got another. Uh, I got another AKA brush coming. Today. Yeah, I think I got like three or four. <laughs> yeah, I got. I ordered uh, the last drop that they did. There was a bunch of like wood ones, so I grabbed. Yeah, them. they look really nice. Yeah, yeah, and then well, I that got one my... set you got, Angelo, was awesome. That glow in the dark set. The, my yeah. goodness, this one I have my Angel glow. My uh, wait my that. Bowl. That green one glows in the dark, or a different one? No, not this one. My uh, see, and this is the beauty, and I can do this from home, so I can <laughs> you can show off your stuff now. So yeah, that's this one here. Oh wow! Well, now don't freak out. So stand by. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, I've seen some of those pictures where you had it. Oh. Was charged up real good man and that no. it's a nightlight. It is. And I'm back. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love it. It is so fun. It is so fun. I love it. And I love this bowl. It, it seriously is a nightlight. And then for my um um my hardware I have my uh, TRC stainless. Mm -hmm. That razor looks it looks phenomenal. I'd like to get one of those. That's pretty, yeah, how that's is that? Cool. Uh, <laughs> yes, if you love the aluminum, you're going to love this. That extra beef that it has from the stainless steel. Ooh. Yeah. And I'm going to load it with the People's Blade Wizamet. Wizamet. And um, you know how the aluminum, the posts are on the base plate? Well, this one here, he has the posts on the top cap. So... I know, Mel's almost done. <laughs> Mel, congrats on uh, three years of BBS Live. That was a great show. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. 
Thanks, guys. Thanks. Congratulations. That was an amazing so show, that, brother. So you, it's always so fun when uh, me and Nate get to chop it up with you guys. Always. So yeah. You guys started that on Facebook. Yeah, we did. Originally yeah, we Facebook. started that on Facebook, and we just started chatting, and then, uh, and then a bunch of people from the Facebook group started watching us, and then I don't know what happened, but. Uh, I, we just started doing giveaways. We dared someone to shave their head, and they wouldn't do it. I said, "Screw it! I'm, I'm still going to give away." I forgot what I gave away, and and then as they say, the rest is history. So how mm. how did it how did it become you and Nate? Were you guys at, was it one of like the head shavers groups or something? Or no, it's uh, it's it's actually from a, a group called the uh, Rich Man Shaving Group. Okay, and. Uh, uh, one day I was doing a live and uh, I noticed Nate. Nate was in the watching the live and I called him out. I said, "Hey man, come come join me." And, and believe it or not, um, when we first started, uh, Nate was shy as as good you know, Nate was super shy. He and can you believe that? Yeah, he he didn't know how to talk. He, he was he was really quiet. He was like a shy schoolgirl. You know what I mean? Wait, Nate was quiet. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Nate was quiet. Nate was quiet. Like, come on, man, just be you. <laughs> and now and then, we can't get Nate to, to stop talking, man. <laughs> and, then, and then he started drinking the bourbon, and he wasn't quiet. And, and, and sometimes people say, "Man, why are you so quiet?" Well, the reason why I'm quiet is Nate talking. <laughs> they got my razor company towel too. How is that? How is that new towel? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it feels so soft. Yeah, pillowy soft, man. Love, love mine. Love mine. Do you, Angela, you have a hold of what's this, right? Crystal does. I am uh -huh. allowed to maybe use it. <laughs> Man, I this, this was one of the first ones. I, I, this, I bought this in Sterling Barbershop. Those were my first two soaps. Ooh. Um, yeah. Well, I love Sterling Barbershop, man. That's oh, that's, awesome. Now, yeah. if you have Sterling Barbershop, you got to get Lafayette by Bricktown Groom. Oh, yeah. That barbershop. Pair that together. I got the Bricktown Grooming 214, and it's awesome. Oh, uh, yeah, get, nice get the Lafayette. It, or better yet, just get that whole sample set that TRC has. That's, there you go. Yeah, it's they're all good, man. He did a good job. Yeah, I have that sample set, but I also have the big bottle of the Lafayette. Oh, yeah. If I miss any of the comments, guys, sorry. I'm, I'm kind of concentrating on my shade right now, guys. Oh, you're good. <laughs> this is how okay, we do see I can't see the comments, so. Yes. Yeah, yeah uh, Crystal just said I got all three. Yeah, so, Crystal, I, I used to, um, uh, it's funny, who was talking about it last night? Uh, J-Mac. So I used to just be big into buying soaps. I never really bought the sets. And then I like bombs a lot, so I had bought the Behold the What's This Bomb. And then uh, TRC was having that sale on the holidays, and I think I grabbed this, like, for 10 bucks. so. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of the few that I have uh, have uh, the three products for. I say yeah, I'm, I'm, like, the new, uh, I'm the newest one here, um, and I've been doing this now since ju last July. Yeah, me too. I, I got into it about July, August. Yeah. And uh, wow. I started. I won some stuff, and then I started making sets, and now I've got. I think I've got like thirty soaps all together, but I've got about eighteen sets. And uh, nice, man. I've so been what, trying what you, hard. I'm trying to catch up. Which yeah, you guys are lucky. Uh, like one, one thing about wet shaving, the, the first, uh, the first year is always fun because you like, you feel like a like a little kid and just like, oh, I'm gonna <laughs> get this, I wanna get that, and yeah, that first year of wet shaving is always fun, man. Always, yeah, especially fun. if you have the candy stores 30 minutes from your house. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, where hey, where I live, the closest stores like. 30 miles away, so but there's nothing wow. close here. There we go. Very nice. Yes, definitely recommend this one. Matty Fox, Foxy Matt says that uh, Mel's Foxy got 50 Matt. sets that he still hasn't even opened yet. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a closet like Mel. <laughs> um, What'd you oh, say? Today, I said he has a Foxy Man has stuff he hasn't even touched yet. I'm like, just like Mel. <laughs> I know, man. I know. 
That's so true. Uh, Art's asking what baby Nick is using. What are you using? What, what, what razor is that? Copra Con? The Copra Con. And then he's using the, uh, I won this off Mel's YouTube, the Simpson T3. And then the, um, the Langley City Shaving Bowl. Nice. And he's got a feather blade in there. Right? There's only one thing that I don't <laughs> like about this one blade. It's the one blade, you only get one use out of the blade, it seems like. And then it's, <laughs> that's it. Hey, what? believe it or not, uh, DJ Chubb. Yeah. I got the one blade also. But guess what? What? I haven't used it yet. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's not open yet? <laughs> it's not well, open. No, I, was... I opened it. I opened it, but I haven't used it yet. So, like, I got it probably man, seven years ago. I was kind of glad to get something that was a little bit mild uh, after my last uh, double dog there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it wasn't too. That was my head still recovering. <laughs> oh, keeping an eye on you. I've got some questions in here before I get to my second pass. Um, oh, Kim Gray. Oh, Nikki, your kids are, are beautiful. You just made my weekend. Oh, thank Love you, Kim. Kim. You're so awesome. Hey, Nick, enjoy your kids that age, man. They go fast, brother. Yes, it oh, does. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy well, your second in your thirties. My you daughter's going to be nine, and she's going on seventeen. Nine? Oh, yeah. They go fast. DJ Chubb, how, how old are your kids, man? My daughter's 32 and my son's 30. Wow, man. That's so freaking amazing, dude. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Are you a granddad? Huh? Are you a grandfather? Yeah. Nice. 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 So I hear from my friends uh, who are grandparents. They they love being grandparents more than parents. Oh my! Well, I don't I don't love it more than being being a parent, but it's yeah. just nice. Yeah. It's a different. It, I mean, it's like having your kids all over again, but you can send them home. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, my, my grandkids, my grandson calls me about every couple of days wanting to come down. That's nice. a blessing, man. That's awesome, man. How old are your grandkids, man? Uh, my son, uh, my grandson's thirteen, and my granddaughter is almost twelve. Hell yeah, man! My grandson, he's real tall. He's real smart. It, kids are really smart nowadays. I mean, it's unreal, especially on computers and electronics. Yeah, no doubt, man. Uh, Ken's asking uh, me and Mel how the weather is in uh, Alabama. <laughs> Who said that? Ken. Mostly vintage. And he asked me to show off the shirt. His daughter drew this. I love Ken. I love Ken. Uh, uh, as Nick knows, I mean, I know Pensacola gets made, Northwest Grove gets made fun of because we're, we're really Alabama. I know. I get it. We're, we're, we're Georgia. I, I, I'm Northeast Florida. We're Georgia. So yeah, they call you Georgia, right? But but uh, but but let me tell you something. Uh, the first where me and Nick live is is a beautiful area, and uh, believe it or not, Alabama's a beautiful state, and Georgia's a beautiful state too. Nick 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 can testify to that. Oh yeah, I'm like I'm like two hours but, south but, of Savannah. But yeah. but we're used to being called Alabama. I get it, guys. <laughs> I did some work in Alabama one time, and that was the most humid state I'd ever been in my life. Uh, it was horrible. Oh, in it's, the summer. I, oh, I the summer's I bad die. here. Oh yeah, come to come to Pensacola. It's, it's just like it, man. I'm telling you. Oh, oh yeah. It's, hey, that's why they invented AC, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Michigan also is just. I mean, all the wetlands, all the lakes. It, it's just humidity. You can cut it with a knife outside. Yeah, you guys get humidity too, because uh, you know I grew up in the Chicago land area, so I, I know all about that Midwest stuff, man. Yeah. Well, where I'm kind of like in the middle between two mountains, it it doesn't it stays kind of uh, dark here until about noon, and then it gets sunny and bright. And about three o'clock, the sun starts going back down because it's going down the other side of the mountain. And uh, it's we get real it gets really hot and then really cold. Lee says we got to go to to, uh, to Thailand, that we can talk about humidity. 
<laughs> I can't stand right. it. Heat is like my kryptonite. I can't stand to be hot. Man, I, I, I love it here I moved, right now, uh, brother. <laughs> I moved to Florida in 2018, and I moved in the end of July, the dead of the summer. And I, I, I you got to get used to the heat, man. I thought I was going to faint. It's Yeah. It hits you. Yeah, I'm definitely used to it. Uh, Nick, uh, Nick, uh, where'd you move from? I'm from New York originally, but I was in uh, I was in North Carolina, Wilmington, for six years. Okay. Yeah, so I made it down the coast from New York down to Florida. So. So you slowly made it your way down here, huh? Oh yeah. Now my next question: How do you like uh, Saint Augustine compared to New York? Oh, we love it down here. I got my parents yeah. moved down here last year. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's great. Hey, man, you can't beat the snow, man, because I remember when I was a kid, uh, one of my chores was to shovel the driveway, man. Let me tell you something. I, I enjoy snow, but I can't live, live in snow. Yeah, we just, we, just get, we just get the hurricanes here. Yeah. Uh, got, that's what I got ahead of me. As soon as we get done here, I got some snow removal to go do outside. <laughs> do you have a snowblower? No, just by... It's my brute strength, my brother. There you go. <laughs> Angelo, did you get the um did you get the Lothar moisturizer yet? Oh, you mean this? How is it? Yes. It's good. Right now, especially right now, brother, with this uh so dry here. Oh dude, my skin loves it. So wait, is loves it, it is it a gel or what what does it look like? Um yeah, stand by. Oh me uh Dry up. I'm gonna get it. Uh, I actually use it because I know I'm gonna about to be outside. I'm gonna get some wicked wind burn. It's cold when I go outside, so I know this will help. Um, so oh, this jar is gorgeous, dude. This is like a uh, high end type of like cosmetic jar that you would see at like Nordstroms or something, you know? Yeah, this yeah. is amazing. Yeah, that stuff's nice. So, all right, see. yeah. Yeah, the yes, the the Man, glycerin that's in there, and then all the the yummy goodness in there. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys ever want to talk to somebody, man, Johnny at Lothar, oh, I do. Man, he he know he knows his crap when it comes to to skincare. Yeah. yeah he uh yeah he recommended uh he recommended this stuff for me. So I use this as like a facial, and I'm waiting on the. It should be here either today or Monday to load their white. But he he gave me a routine to use, man. He he knows his stuff. Yeah. Can same. you share, can you share that face wash, uh, Nick? Yeah, I got it at Target. I could send you guys a link. I was trying yeah. to see it, but the comments on mine is right on top of it, and I can't see what it is. There it is. I don't know okay, brand there you go. What's what's the brand? Uh, Sarah V. Sarah V. Yeah. So. He, I mean, I reached out to him and he just asked, he's like, what kind of skin type you have, oil? And he just, he re he sent me links to Target and he said, do this and use the moisturizer. So I'm looking forward to getting the, the moisturizer. Nice, man. Uh, hey, uh, after this live, can you send me that link? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on, on message, appreciate it, man. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the, uh, is that the, because I know Crystal got that one too, because he did the same thing for her and for me. Um and um it's uh this the sensitive one or something like that uh this is for normal skin normal skin okay yeah i mean i would i would highly recommend i mean you just reach out to him and he'll he'll ask you what, what kind of skin type you got and he just he he's good like that man he's he's really knowledgeable yeah about to use this right now yeah so and uh, that's only a tiny little dollop you don't need much oh man Yes. So while I'm here enjoying this, we have a uh, $20 gift card for the Razor Company. Thank you, Jason. Yeah. From the, Jason, the man, uh, to give away. And uh, let's see, we got some uh, questions here. Let me take a look. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Kim Gray. Angelo. Hey, that's me. If you had to only keep one razor, the aluminum or the steel from TRC, which would you pick? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Kim. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, I've used this three times already. Uh, once when it was the uh, the initial prototype and then twice with my mine. Um, 
I love the aluminum, but I'm thinking for build and material wise, um, and I like the, the heft, I'd have to say the stainless if I had to choose one or the other. I like the stainless, but I but I love the aluminum too. So it argh, it's hard. <laughs> um, I like the lightweight and just the, the you know no focused autopilot of the uh, the aluminum. But uh, for like stainless steel for under a hundred bucks, yes, I'd have to say the stainless. I I love the stainless. Are you finding? Um... Is it is it a similar shave, or do you find one better than the other? It's a little bit more efficient to me. I think it's because it's the heft. I think it's because a little of the more weight. efficient. Well, I mean, wow. like, um, I don't have to because I usually Press like or... blade buff a little bit with the yeah, lighter yeah. one because I think it's because it's lighter weight. Okay. So I think well, being that this is heavier, it will bite in a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, because it's sold out already. Yeah, I know there's a restock coming. Is there? All right. Yeah. yeah but, uh, I mean, the blade feel, blade exposure, all of that to me feels the same. Yeah. I think the deciding factor is because of the weight of the of the razor. So, but I love it, dude. This is something that, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So, I definitely would recommend. <laughs> Let me see what else we got out there. Um Hey, DJ, I got to ask you a question, man. Go ahead, man. I've always wanted to ask, are you, are, you, are you DJ as well? I used to DJ when I was younger. I used to do, <laughs> like, dances and weddings. and uh, But I've, uh, it's been a long time ago now. You still got your equipment? I, I just actually donated it to a church. Oh, man. Because I, I was going to ask you, it's like, hey, one day you got to uh, – you got to go IG live and start spinning, man. Well, I'm, uh, I just had a, I had a tractor trailer trailer full of equipment and I used to do outside like events too. And I had all the speakers and microphones and PA gear. And mm. um, I, it, I just thought it was going to ruin. So I thought about it and I said, what do I want to do with it? And, Cause I was paying taxes on it. Uh -huh. So, um, I I ended up I put an ad in the on Facebook Marketplace, and I said if any church around needs a PA system, yeah, just call me and I have one, and you can come look at it if you're interested. I'll give it to you. Wow! So I donated nice. it to a church. Awesome, man! Nice, that's awesome, man. Well done. But you play guitar still? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Didn't you just do a live with somebody you were playing? Yeah, stacks. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, uh, I was nervous as could be. I mean, he that was out of the blue. He just called me, man. I've never had ever talked to him before. And he called me uh, like a face, the face talk, you know, yeah. call on Instagram. And uh, he said, I got an idea. Would you be interested? <laughs> wow. I said, well, I'll try anything once. <laughs> Almost anything anyway. <laughs> Heck yeah, you can play. You can play. Um, somebody, I uh, Peter asked, what kind of uh, music did you use to spin? Um, I did some. Uh, I'm an '80s guy. Everything I did was in the '80s, man. I, and um, I did a little bit of techno stuff, but I just wasn't really into it. I'm more of the old school, and I like R and B. Uh, mm. I love the blues too, man. I I mean yeah. I really love the blues, but uh, it was, blues all the rest of the music that blues. I did was in the eighties. Yeah. Eighties nice. and nineties music, man, I'm telling you guys. Yeah. Pretty much most stuff pre two thousand I'm down. <laughs> and the funny thing is the bad, the bad, funny thing is all the new songs they use uh the old sounds. The, yeah. The, the, exactly. The beats from the eighties and nineties, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 It's, I feel like that song, The Day the Music Died, or whatever, you know, it's, once it got into the 90s, music just went a, a different way. Yeah, a whole different direction. Yeah. Oh, man, I was I was hoping you still had your equipment, because I really wanted you to uh, spin live one day, and I wanted <laughs> to join you, so I could start dancing, man, because back in the day, I used to love to dance, man. I used to love to dance back in the day. Heck, yeah. 
That's it, right. well, that'd be something. I, it was fun. I mean, I really enjoyed doing it. And uh, and I also, like, did sound work. So I did a bunch of uh, cancer benefits, like, mm. uh, where, you know, they raised money for children's cancer research and yeah. things like that. And I never charged anything for it. And we did, like, whole fairgrounds and arenas and and different stuff like that. And I, I, had, a, I had a blast. It, it was fun. You still got uh, your old vinyl still? My, my what now? You, you still got uh, your old vinyl records? Not not most of it. I started switching. Oh, I started trying to switch everything over. And I did do a little bit of stuff like once it got, uh, I switched everything like the MP, MP3 format. And I started trying to do it that way. And I just, my back and stuff, I hurt my back and my shoulders and I just couldn't lift the stuff anymore, so I quit. Got mm. rid of everything. Nice, man. Hey, yeah. Nick, uh, your boy, what, uh, what does he play? What's his position? This you play, first ball. First base. It's, he's doing T-ball, so they play everything, but he, he he's he's usually at shortstop or pitcher or first base. <laughs> uh, who's his favorite uh, uh, baseball player? Who's does he have one? Play? Um, Show him your number. Turn around. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Who do you like? Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge, yeah. Oh, Aaron Judge, the Yankees. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. Man, he had a crazy year, man. That is, oh. I, I grew up with Jeter, and he's growing up with Judge, so. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Angelo, uh, yeah. Harry, Harry was asking in the questions to show off the, the top cap from the side on the on the stainless. Oh, yeah. I need to see your hat. <laughs> what color is it under the underside? Oh, green. Blue. Okay. Green. Green. Blue. Okay. Top. Blue green. and then green, yeah. He's talking about like this one. Yeah. It's the same okay. design as the uh the aluminum. If you have the aluminum. So uh, the one difference I have to say, though, is with the um, the handle on the aluminum, this part here, see that indent? On the aluminum, that's flat. So the, the handle goes right up to the base plate. Well, with this one, it's recessed. Back there, see that? So when you put the handle in, see how there's that little... It goes into the base plate. So, and then the uh, the top cap has the posts opposed to the aluminum. The base plate has the posts for the uh, um, for the for the blade. Don't. So. Hey, that's nice. Yeah, and this one is it says level one, which is fine for me because you know hyper mild. So. If there's going to be other levels, that's, you know, you have to talk to Jason about that. <laughs> yeah, I think so. the, uh, yeah, I mean, if it's my, the, uh, I always say that the aluminum one's a great, like, uh, I mean, I think it's efficient, but it's great for, like, new wet shavers, too. So, yeah, this is a great one, too. Yeah, it says the stainless steel is a touch more efficient. Um, so, yeah, can confirm. It is a touch more efficient. Angelo, um, have you ever had one that was a razor that was too mild for you? The uh, Chris, uh, Fan Detroit Lions, a.k.a. Uh, Saturday Chris, he gave me a um, uh, a Razor Rock uh, Mamba, and it was, like, super hyper, hyper mild. I what love blade it. Did you... Which one? What blade did you put in it? I used a, um, a Wizomet, and then yeah. I also tried with a... Uh, Astra Green, Perma Sharp, and a seven o'clock Perma Sharp, and yeah, that was like I had to do extra blade yeah. buffing to well, to I, get it because it was like under mild, like hyper hyper mild. I mean, I, I loved the, it uh, very smooth, but yeah, the original uh, or like the r really mild uh, Henson razor, and I I couldn't hardly get it to cut, and uh, but I finally put a feather blade in it. And and I can cut, I can shave good with it now, but 
it was just way too mild uh, with the other blades I tried in it. It's like I was having to work myself to death to try to get my head shaved. Yeah. Now, Mel, you have that in the in the titanium, don't you, or no? Uh, what's this? The Henson. Uh, no, uh, I actually uh, wanted I want uh, aluminum, and um, I did a giveaway on it because at the time um, I, I it was too light for me. Um, mm. I mean, nothing, nothing against Henson's. I, it was just. It was just too light at the time, and I was a big stainless steel person. Yeah, Dully has the um, he has the Henson titanium that he won from TRC. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I tried the Henson. Jason let me try his, the aluminum one. It was on the mild plate. It was, it wasn't bad. You know, nothing against it. G great razor. Yeah. Um, I just had like an issue with it, like wanting to like just like the grab and stick. I don't know if it's just because it's flat. Um, it was weird. So I I just had a hard time trying to figure it out. And then... Um, uh, well, see, I just thought I was the only one because I had a lot of trouble with that razor yeah. until I put the uh, feather in it. And then yeah. it, it did really good with the feather in it. Yeah, I tried it with the Astro Green. I mean, great razor. But, I mean, that's the thing. That's what beauty of this lifestyle is that what may work for somebody may work for yep. somebody else. You know, I tell you what, you don't want to use for a head shave, and that is a uh, a fat boy on nine with a feather blade <laughs> on your head. That's rough. It was rough. <laughs> There's video footage to confirm. <laughs> but you know what? You know what? The more you start shaving with it, it'll, it won't be. I promise oh you. Oh my gosh! I could feel the blade the whole time. It felt like it was just. Rolling the skin up into <laughs> like astroturf. <laughs> mm, right. um, Johnny, hey, Angelo, I got to ask you a question, Angelo. Um, so uh, okay. I noticed you go to you're at PRC quite a bit. Uh, how, how far do you live from Jason's shop? Uh, from from my house for, for, to the Razor Company is about a thirty minute drive. Twenty if Crystal's driving. Um, but like today, it would definitely be a good hour and a half. Wow. So, <laughs> That's how um, much snow you guys got. That is nuts. Yeah, and another well, question. Yeah. Another, another question. Uh, man, uh, tell Jason never show his faith on the West Shape community because I, I love that mystique where we don't know <laughs> how he looks like. Yeah. Except, yeah. except of course, you, uh, you can and, um, Foxy Matt knows, and, and and Peter knows how he looks like, but let him know, never show his face. It's, it's that mystique. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, oh, it's, it's so awesome. Is Foxy and, Matt uh, near TRC2? He's... I think he's um, two hours away, right? Yeah, I think he's about an hour, hour and a two hours oh, maybe. Right. Yeah, because he's came down there once before. Um, I remember when he was there. He, it was sweet. He showed up. He had a, the red Burma shave shirt on from PAA yeah. that was tight so I was like oh I need that shirt and that <laughs> if that would be so dangerous for me if I was a half hour away yeah Dude. exactly <laughs> I, if there's a if Jason lived in Pensacola it'll be, it'll be nuts yeah it'll be nuts. yeah um, I'll, I'll be in the shop every day <laughs> oh yeah it's well now you know why I'm there <laughs> I go there every weekend yeah. to do these well not today but yeah so I get to just go there and grab stuff and smell it and yeah, it's awesome. But I mean, the the main reason though is to see Jason because he's just an amazing guy. So yeah, um, I've heard so many great things about him, man. Yeah, I mean, like I've witnessed. I talk about this a lot. I've witnessed like people coming in who you know newbies have never been in, and he'll stop what he's doing, and he'll no problem spend forty five minutes, hour, hour and a half, with just helping people, talking to them, and just trying to get the best so, customer service. So. So what does he get a lot of like, like, is there a lot of local people that converted to wet shaving that come in there or do they get, is there people that walk in just like interested to see like what's in there? What does he get? Uh, that, mm, I'm not sure. I Good mean, question. I know cause he's getting, he's gotten people and like, I think we tell him that, uh, that he needs to keep like a, like a tally, like, you know, like on a dry erase board or something to see how many people converted that month, you know? Yeah. He should. 
Yeah, uh, there is a, in that plaza there, there's a liquor store on one side. Um, we call them party stores here, but, um, and then there's a diner, the early bird diner that uh, me and Crystal always go to every Saturday morning before we do, the, you know, before we get on the, the live there. So there is a diner that gets a lot of business there. Small little diner, great food though. And so there's sometimes people will see, you know, what is that? You know, they'll see the, uh, you know, the sign above the building and there's been people that will come in um like it's like right on a saturday like when we get done with the live people would come in that have been eating breakfast and just before you know it two hours go by and they're yeah been there and they you know they've converted or they've just bought stuff on a whim it's, it's so cool to watch so um yeah i think i, 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 love, I love converting new people and i, I love meeting new wet shavers and, and introducing them to the hobby and stuff it's it's fun. it's a lot of fun. It really is. Yeah, I got I got my brother into it. He uh he uh, I mean he has a really big beard, but he he'll shave like a couple times a week. But I got him into it, and uh he uh his his uh girlfriend bought him a bunch of stuff from TRC for for Christmas. He got uh mm -hmm. she she actually did really good. She didn't even reach out to me to ask for any records. She she got him uh, Lothar Black. Um, nice. Ooh. Yeah, she bought him a Henson, and then uh. He snagged one of the one of the TRC um, razors that AKA did. It was really nice. Oh, the the um, the brushes. Nice. Uh, I nice. gave my uh, best friend a couple razors, vintage razors, and some soap and a brush and stuff to get him started. And a couple weeks went by, and I asked him how it was going. And he said, man, that one uh, beard wax you gave me, it really works good in my beard. <laughs> he was using the soap, the beard soap for a beard wax. He didn't know. I, I, <laughs> hey, if he's using it, he's hey, using it. Heck yeah. Pete, yeah. Peter, Peter from A&E last night told us to use uh, shave soap for, for, for in the shower. Put it on the loofah. To wash and, with it. Yeah, he, he said it, it's, it's better than any of the body soap you're going to get in the stores, so. Hey, I've done it before. Yeah, I mean, oh. if it does red on the face, of course it's gonna be on the body. Okay, absolutely, really, I've done it before. Actually, several times, actually. Yeah, <laughs> we'll we'll be able to start killing tubs a lot quicker. Now. <laughs> no, no <laughs> doubt, tubs. guys. No <laughs> doubt, man. That hey, man. Like I, also, I just want to say, guys, yeah. uh, and uh, I want to say, I, I love you guys, man. I love our community, oh, and yeah. I don't think oh, we yeah. say I don't think we say that enough, man. Because usually when we say we love you guys or we love you guys is when we're freaking dead, man. So, uh, as a person who sees death all the time, I just want to say I appreciate mm. you, Angelo, for inviting me, man, over here. Yeah. And I get to chop it up with you guys, man. So I'm I'm having a good. You just don't know how much fun I am having interacting with you three and everybody here in the comments. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, this community it's, is the best. Oh, we love you, Mel. I'll tell you that. Hey, I, can honestly, you the scrubs right there. I can honestly say that the, the community, I was going through kind of a dark time and uh, what time and I was having a lot of problems and I didn't have, I felt like I didn't have nothing to look forward to. And I found these, I found this community and it's given me a whole, it's changed, it's turned my life around, serious. Yeah. Um, and like like you said, I love all you guys too, man. It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, it, it's just been a, a – it's given me something to look forward to, something to do. And it, now I have something to, uh, like, look forward to now. Yeah. yeah. Same yeah. here. Same here. Yeah. That's why I know we were talking on the uh, the Artisan Spotlight with, uh, uh, with uh, Peter – last night about the never alone project you know and i came in it was august 2021 crystal and i started getting into wet shaving and that was right when never alone one happened and that whole like throughout that year up leading up until the next for never alone two getting involved in the community and getting to know everybody so that was just like a good coming together and it was just an amazing project with that because I mean that's the focus right I mean none of us are, are never alone so yeah. Uh, that's yeah I cannot wait I told the dude I cannot wait for never alone three to happen because uh, it's just going to be fire I know for sure so that sense yeah. and everything just mm. so I, I like the positive the positive vibe 
Amen. Yeah. It's really just kind of uplifting. Yeah. Yeah, like getting to know everybody, you know, watching DBS Live, Canadian Mafia, getting to know all you guys, and then being able to do this stuff for for the Razor Company. It's just, it's a, it's a, it's a true blessing, man. I cannot say it enough. It just is. And then uh, to see people like Mel, like you said, brother, um, you know, you're, you know, being in the, the medical field, doing what you do and seeing what you see every day. I mean... I mean, a community like this to, to be able to, to wrap around you and show love for you, you know, for what you face every day. Yeah, man. I mean, that is just, that is just amazing. And, you know, that's why amazing. nothing but love for you and all the, all the nurses out there, all the doctors, everybody. So, yeah, I man. Think, uh, another, <laughs> yeah. I was going to, I was going to say another big thing. It's not really talked about much, but like most of the artisans are part of the community too. So it's like, oh yeah, that's awesome. You're, you're not only buying the stuff, but like they're in the Discord, they're they're commenting on Instagram, they're on the live. Exactly. And it's like, yeah, I, I think that's what helps make the community be what it is too, because you're not just buying from someone you don't know. Like, like I was yeah. talking about Johnny at Lothar. You message him, you'll talk to him for two hours. Like, yeah, and that's what yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, shout out exactly. to the shave to the shave holes. I had to say that for for Ken. So, <laughs> dude, that that shave hole. Uh, I remember going to their first uh, show, man. They were killing you, man. They were <laughs> killing you, and they were killing me. <laughs> Ken was right. being so. Ken was the meanest one out of all three of them. <laughs> Ken was the meanest out of John and Peter, man. Ken was killing. Me. He was talking bad about. Nate and I was like, man, you guys are roasting us, man. That, yeah. that just that just means they love you, though. That's yeah. true, true. But like I tell people, if you go that show, you can't have thin skin. You gotta have thick skin because like yeah. they will roast you. <laughs> yeah, twenty they years of retail roast. sales will do that to you. <laughs> you can take a lot. <laughs> what did you say, Angela? I said twenty years of doing retail and sales. You you can you can take a lot. <laughs> oh, absolutely, man, because the, the, the general public suck, man. You know, when I take care of a patient and they're nice to me, you know what I tell them? I said, I appreciate your kindness and, and I appreciate you being real nice and cooperative with me because, like, man, the general public is terrible, man. Yeah, it's not fun. It's not fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, but no, I love those guys, man. Peter, Sloppy, Ken, all those guys. Matt was on last time. Yeah. All y'all. Mm -hmm. So, um, Angela, what do we got for giveaway? Because this guy wants to pick a number. Oh, yeah. So we have a $20 uh, gift card. I wrote it down on a piece of paper. So <laughs> um, $20 gift card for the Razor Company. So we got 1 to 38. So go ahead. 1 to 38. What number you Seventeen. 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 Okay. All right. Let's go. Can I do it? No, Dan. Hey, Nick. Yeah. I got. I got questions for your kids after we, after we <laughs> find who won. Right. Ah, oh, dang it! Sorry. <laughs> I gotta read. Hold on. Who's number 17? Angela's going to say it right now. Okay, so that's going to be Rick Star Shaves. Yeah. Congratulations, Rick. Rick Star. Rick Star. Hey, Angela. Ninja Turtles. I'm going to do a $20 gift card so my daughter can pick a number, all right? Oh, nice, brother. You do it. Okay. Way to go, Nick. All right, Dan, what, what number do you, it's uh, between one and 40? Um, 37. 37. <laughs> well, we got 39 here right now. Well, 30, 40. All right, it's changing. All right, I'm just going to count. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> No, we're done with the Okay. I'm going to start dipping into your college fund. All right. And this is going to be Chris Frey. Congrats. Congrats, Chris. All right, yeah. Reach out Chris. to me and I'll, I'll hook you up. 
Chris Frey, so well, Chris dot Frey dot seven five eight seven. <laughs> Chris Lord. Nice. Heck yeah. Congrats, everybody. All right, Melly Mel. What do you what do you got for these guys? Come here, Dan Mel. All right. Got? So uh I'll ask uh what's your son's name first? That's Dominic. And what's your daughter's name? Danica. Okay. Dominic, I got to ask you a question. Now, you got to be honest with me, okay? Who's more fun, your daddy or your mommy? Who's more fun? Who's more fun? You. Me? Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 All right, Danica. All right, Danica. What, who is more fun, mommy or daddy? Mommy. Mommy, yeah. Mommy, Jesus. okay. Mommy, okay. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh, we got some. Uh, let me check this in here, man. I, I love kids, man. Heck yeah. I got our, my girls, they're 12 and, and 17. And um, they're the life. They're our life. <laughs> <laughs> no cost. Uh, so, um, Ken, uh, William. Uh, how many vintage razors in your collection? Uh, 31. Vintage? Oh, uh, no, it's about half vintage and half. I got 31 nice. razors all together. Nice. Uh, oh, we got, we got another giveaway here from Harry. Oh, Harry. Okay. He said he what? Wants, 25. He wants to give 25, but you have to buy the Lothar moisturizer with it. <laughs> Stipulation: You gotta buy. It. <laughs> Harry's a huge fan of that. He was talking it up. Oh, dude, I I am as well. I am. You saw Crystal come in here because she's. I only moisture. I only did part here, and then Johnny was like, "Make him do the whole face." So she came in here and did the whole face. <laughs> Later, Matt. W H D. I'm try, I was trying to make sure I got it right. H D A Y I R. Okay. All right. So, who does he want to to choose the number? Mel, uh, go ahead. What, yeah, why don't you guys do it? Okay, I, I will go with three. A las tres. Thank you, Mel. <laughs> Dave Phillips. Congratulations, Dave. Dave P ninety. And guys, tag TRC on what you get. Yes. Heck yeah. I got my Razor Company uh, coffee mug coming in the mail. I can't nice. wait to get it. Which one did you get? Which one did you order? I bought the, the black one, the black and white. Oh, with nice. the TRC logo? Yeah. yeah. Nice. I just hope it's as big as what it looks like it, when they Angelo are, yeah. was using <laughs> They are. No, no. They, they are. are. They're big, yeah. <laughs> and they feel good. They feel good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're big. Mine's empty. It's in the kitchen. I got to refill it. I drank all my coffee already, as you can tell. <laughs> I, I got to get, I gotta I get ordered, a BBS one, though. I ordered the 15-ounce one, so that's the big one, right? Yeah. Yep, that's the bigger one. Yeah. And it, it feels so good, too, when you hold it. It's, it's, it's nice. It's sturdy. Get it, guys. Yeah. I got pretty much all of them except for I need to get BBS next. I need to get yours because, Mel, your quote, I absolutely love and live by that. Thanks, man. I ordered one from PAA that's got the Gillette razor. It says Gillette, and it's got a color picture, and it's got the Gillette razor on it. Oh, yeah. Those are sweet. Yeah, those are pretty cool. He's got some fun stuff, um, for sure. Kim Gray, feeling compelled to have coffee Joe, on that mug mug every live. That's right, Kim. Every live, you need to drink out of that mug. <laughs> um, okay. Saturday, oh, question Chris. for you, Angelo. Huh? Are, are you are you are we gonna have Kim Gray on one day? She needs to. KG, we want you here. Yeah, she said she'll come on when Jason comes on. So <laughs> <laughs> great answer. The, great it'll be both answer. of them shaving the, eat their legs. <laughs> okay, we're we're gonna see Jason's leg. Right. Jason, you're shaving your leg. Wait. <laughs> uh, but you won't see nothing else. Yeah. Angela, Let's wasn't, do this. Wasn't somebody supposed to shave their legs because you shaved your head? That was supposed to be Dougie. Uh, Dougie shaves. Um, yeah. But uh, that never came to fruition. Yeah, he, 
but uh, yeah, I he owes us anyway. a leg day. <laughs> so no, Andrew, let's it. make it happen. We want to see Jason's legs. Yeah, it's got to happen. We're not. We're not. Oh, see we're just yeah. Jason's legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, Chris, well, <laughs> fan Detroit Lions Saturday. Chris, that's my brother. He, I love him. Uh, Mel, make sure you. Show some love to your uh, PACS and CPACS administrators at your hospital. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Anybody in the medical field, man. First responders. I mean, all y'all. Thank you. Thanks for reading those questions because I'm not seeing the questions. For some That's reason. okay. <laughs> um, I can actually reach them this time because I'm here in my bathroom. <laughs> uh, Kim Gray, the Southern accent. Talking about... Uh, about uh, about Will is it, just slamming. She loves your accent, brother. Thank you. <laughs> Love you, Kim. Uh, let me see here. Not not only that, it's a cool accent. He has that bass. <laughs> he, has, he has that deep bass to it, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, imagine imagine being at a Roladium and hearing DJ spin, dude, and like coming over the PA and talking about you know throwing down some Hall and Oats or something. Woo! <laughs> um, Too many young guys. Hot enough was the, was awesome. Yeah. What? Well, thank yeah. you, Mel. <laughs> Heck yes. Uh, Ken, mostly vintage. Nikki, show off that amazing shirt. Nice. My uh, that's sweet. My my daughter. I'll I'll send it out later. My daughter just drew a picture of her shaving. She wants it on a shirt now. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we need a TRC kids line, Jason. Yeah, we need a uh, uh, kids line, which more than for me. <laughs> I really like it when you see these guys including their, their sons and stuff like that on shaving. Uh, because I think that that's a lot what's wrong with this country right now is that the the men need to make sure they spend time with their sons. Yeah, and, absolutely, uh, man. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, one my thing. Kid, my kids love this hobby. Yeah, that's definitely one thing that um, I have to attest to. I remember on Black Friday when we were there at the Razor Company. Um, and there's witnesses. I mean, uh, Gardner from AKA, I mean, uh, you know, Amelia, uh, Peter, Ken. We were, we were all there Black Friday, uh, Saturday, Chris. And there was a young kid came in with a couple of friends. And, this, you know, they were eating at the diner next door, came in. Before he knew it, it was two hours later. The mom was sitting out in the car, and she was like, I'm just going to come back. And we're like, it's fine. Just go. If he needs a ride, don't, don't worry about it. Just come back later. Two hours go by. She comes back. You know, he's got his bag of gear and everything. Got Jason hooked him up with a whole new setup, you know. But that was the thing, man. It's just like the... There's so many people that, I mean, like said, me for an example, dude, I did not know what to do. I had to figure it out on my own. Yeah. So, and it was, a you know, a disposable, you know, Bic, whatever, <laughs> yellow handle razor. Stuff like, razor. Yeah. I mean, that because I didn't know what to do, but that, yeah. So, I mean, like our girls, everybody in this house, wet shapes. Nice. They got their razors. They got their brushes, their bowls. Um, they whatever soaps they want to use all of that dude um because yeah i mean it's just a better way of life better lifestyle for for shaving but it's something that us as a family can be able to share and yeah so like nikki and it's awesome. well done man and it saves you money right <laughs> right <laughs> yeah. good to share the money well, hey, uh, funny thing is, I, I I was at Walgreens the other day, and uh, I, I think there was a four-pack of uh, Gillette Fusions for like 45 bucks, man. I'm like, dang. I was like, wow, that's not – for four. 40-something bucks, man. That's crazy. Oh that, that's a set right there. You get a soap and splash. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's why we yeah. save money, right, Nick? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my daughter wanted to show up. This is uh, her shaving. She drew that this morning. <laughs> that is beautiful, girl. Nice. There you go. Congrats. <laughs> I'm going to need that on a V-neck extra large. Pick it up. <laughs> Save so much money. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, Trevor. Yeah. But, I mean, that's the thing, though. You can get into it and get, 
you know, you can get like a, a you know, a Bali razor or a Vanderhagen or something like that. You can get, uh, you know, a cream Paraso or something. I mean, you can get into it for under 20, 30 bucks. Absolutely. You know? and well, I think what's out. really nice too is like these razors, like, you know, I got, I got fat boys and all these vintage Gillettes that come from the forties and the fifties. I mean, this is something we can pass on to our kids. A lot of, you know, the brushes, the razors, maybe not the soaps, but, you know, and the shave bowls, it, it's something that could last a lifetime. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Johnny. Johnny. What, Johnny. He said, I'll give away a moisturizer and a tester of my Syndex soap. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop out. I'm gonna hop out. So I, got I know, right? Give me a number. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I want to try <laughs> that. So, no yeah. doubt. Uh oh. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So let me write that down. So Lothar moisturizer and Sindet soap. Ooh. I don't even know what that is. I already bought, I already want one. <laughs> I don't even know the set notes. I already want it. I know, man. So, all right. So, what do we got here? Um, we got 35. So, of course, I'm going to choose my number 14. So, <laughs> let's go. Give me a minute. Here we go. Oh man. Totally not rigged. Totally not rigged. Ken, mostly vintage head shape. Yeah. <laughs> what? Congrats, Ken. Hey, at least I went to Ken. I, Ken's, I love Ken. That's my dope. <clears throat> Heck yeah. That's my boy. That's right. Totally not rigged. That was legitimate number 14. How he planned that, I don't know. But <laughs> congratulations. Hey. Tag TRC when you get it, and local when yeah. you get it, man. Yeah, because you're, bro, this is just, this is awesome. He said, oh, Ken said, send it to Peter. I already have it. Okay. All right. There you go. Steven Cyclist. Peter, you're going to get it, brother. But, yeah, this is this will be good when he's out on his bike when the summer comes. You know, be able to moisturize that pretty head of his. So make him more uh, aerodynamic. Peter yeah. says respin, and then oh. he says respin. Oh my god, these guys are so awesome, man! I, good thing I got my pencil with an eraser on it. I got all these different winners. Okay, um, let me see here. Nikki, you, you kids still around, or they got? Uh, no, let, let DJ, because if one kid picks a number, then I got to do another one for the other kid. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> DJ, William, go ahead, senor. Uh, 21. 21, okay. <laughs> it's going to be Peter, watch. No, I know. <laughs> uh, actually... Completely other side of the of the of the world. I think technically right now he's watching us and it's Monday morning. Lee, no, now, in that's the not house. rigged right there because they're we're both going British. international, baby. See, they're both British. There's some there's some rigor going on <laughs> there, man. Rigor t rigor three thousand. That's some rigor mortis has set in on this live, and y'all <laughs> witnessed it. <laughs> Lee, lovely, I love Lee. Lee, congratulations. Yeah, he's probably Congrats, teaching Monday morning class right now. <laughs> Congrats. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Let me get through these questions here. Um, do, do, do. Uh, Ken wanted to know, Mel, Nikki, how's the weather in Alabama? <laughs> Mid-70s. Uh, Trevor wanted to ask with the accent. They're talking about uh, William. Uh, now, please tell me that you that you do barbecue. Do barbecues? Yeah, yeah, during the summer. Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah, you got to. Oh man, there ain't we, nothing better than cooking out. Oh yeah, no doubt, no doubt. 
fresh off the grill. Yeah. Oh man, Johnny, thank you, brother, for the uh, for that giveaway. You're awesome, brother. Yeah, that was awesome, man. Um, Addison Road wanted to ask Mel, what is a must-have spring fragrance scent? Oh my gosh, I actually got it right here because I wanted to brag about it again. So this is a uh, Middle Eastern fragrance. It's uh, by Latafa, and it's called uh, Kayed Al Fursan. This is a 100 ml bottle for only $19.99 at Joma Shop. That's J-O-M-A Shop. And um, this is a, if you guys like citrus, syrupy, uh, pineapple, with some creaminess, with the vanilla, with some woods in the background, this is a beautiful, mass appealing scent, if you, if you guys like pineapples. And no, don't think Creed Aventus, this is way different than Creed Aventus. Yeah. And it's only nineteen ninety nine, guys. Wow. That is a sweet looking bottle too. Yeah. And it's a good it's a sweet looking bottle. Looks like the bottle's worth nineteen bucks. <laughs> right. Exactly. And it's only nineteen ninety nine. It's super super uh, affordable and it smells great, man. It really does. Um, I know I keep asking, Mel, did you ever find that, that red that you were finding? What was it? Was it Mont Blanc red or something that you were looking for in the box stores? Um I did. Uh, no, not in the box stores. It's still, uh, it's still in the higher end stores. Still not. It's not on the rack stores yet. The You're Mont not Blanc letting red. that go. <laughs> yeah, but that Mont Blanc red is. It's the. I, I did test a uh, tester. Uh, I went to Dillard's, I believe, and uh, the lady was able to give me a small decant. And it's pretty good. I don't think it was a uh, full bottle worthy. I, I'd rather yeah. get it at a discounted price. Yeah. No, nice. what, what's what's worth keeping an eye out for in the in the uh, in like the Burlington and Ross stores? Oh, I want. I got a great one. Let me let me go to uh, the other side of the house. Okay, I got a Let's... perfect one for you guys. Hold on. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was, where was I at the other day? Either Ross or Burlington. I was talking with Stacks, and he recommended. Um, it was Calvin Klein uh, Aqua, something Aqua. Mm. And it's, it's good. Yeah, it was like 30 bucks or something. But Ooh. yeah, I, I'm, I'm starting to fall down the, the frag rabbit hole now. Yeah. In the bedroom. In the office. Yeah, I'm still rocking the, um, I love the uh, the Via Cruces by Black Mountain. Dude, I love that scent. That is awesome. Which one is that? The Via Cruces. Yeah. This right here. Oh, let me so tell you something. So this is my second bottle. I love it so much that I already used my a full bottle already. So you get this. Well, here in Pensacola, we we got some pretty good rack stores, and we're pretty staffed. But this one, it's like twenty nine, thirty dollars. It's a hundred ml bottle. This is Missoni Wave, and this is a beautiful. Uh, uh, let's see here. It's the combination of Versace Pour Homme and uh, Chanel alone support, I believe. This is a perfect, this one uh, performs when it's hot, super hot. Like, this is perfect for me and you, Nick. Yeah. Like, it, it uh, on my skin, when, my, when I'm heating up, this actually smells better when okay. your skin Ooh. heating up. Dang, that's guys, hot. Guys, it's on the way. And it's guys, boy, anybody watching this, uh, if you do get, if you do have it, uh, tag bbs.live if you get this or find this on your rack store. I believe Ken, uh, Ken right now, I, I believe Ken has this. Mm. Yes, uh, Sully recommended that one too. He, he said to look out for that. Yeah. Keep an eye yeah. out for that one. Sully, I love Sully. Yeah, heck yeah. Um, yeah, just, hey, I yeah, appreciate like, y'all uh, inviting me on here this morning. That was cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, brother. It's good having you on here. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, and hey, anybody... Um, besides whatever Saturday that Kim and Jason to do their leg shave. Uh, <laughs> no, that's going to happen. That We're is, laughing about that's going to happen. KG, happen. You are, I'm going to see your legs. Jason, I'm going to see your legs too. Not your face, <laughs> but your legs. It's going to happen. <laughs> um, it's going to happen. happen. Crystal said that she might be, she's going to be doing the hosting next week. Hopefully, We'll be able to make it out there, and the snow's gone. 
So, There's no and, uh, Angela, when, when that does happen, please, please, please uh, let me know. So, because uh, usually Saturdays I sleep in, but Sorry. please, please, please <laughs> let me know. And uh, if if Jason and KG does their leg shaves, I will give uh, not one, but two Simpsons to Fathom, T3, to then brush. Oh. 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 Let's do this. Let's make it happen, KG. See? And we did hear KG said that she'll be on if Jason's on, right? Yeah. I yeah. saw that comment, man. That, yep. That'll be a huge giveaway show. That'll be a big one right there. The, the internet will definitely break. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, so, everybody, you contact as far as for the winnings. Um, so, Nikki Shaves, uh, Chris Frey, has got to get a hold of you. Uh, Dave. P90, get a hold of, um, uh, was I keep doing it wrong. Was it Howard? W H D A Y I R. It's Harry. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. Harry. <laughs> and then uh, Lee, yes. get a hold of Johnny for um, for your giveaway. But uh, uh, Rick Star Shaves, I'm pretty sure I got your information. So I'm going to be hitting you up here soon. And uh, yeah, this was awesome, guys. This was so much fun. Heck yeah. Yeah, this is cool. And then. Uh... Monday, we might be doing a, a impromptu show with, with you, Angelo, with the Shave Migo. So, we'll oh, yeah, Monday, yeah, we'll see how Monday goes. Uh, my, my kids, ever since they heard that AKA was doing the uh, guess the smell, they want to do that again. So, really, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we I, tell you, we, get a hold of them, man, get a yeah, hold yeah, of Gardner did, yeah, and, we, uh, and Amelia. Yeah, we, they, they did it with me yesterday. It, it's seriously the hardest thing, it, it's so, yeah. much, so much harder than you would expect. If you think you know your den. Yeah, blindfold and have other people. Oh, that, hey, that was a good show that day. So, and try so and my, identify it. We did that it was, yesterday. My kids did it yesterday with me. I'm I telling you right now. So do, bad. Do you have Year of the Tiger, Hendrix? No. Have you ever smelt it? Yeah. I mean, it's a potent one. Yeah. I I couldn't. I, I who was was it Gardner that was saying it? Like, I think your mind knows the scent when you when you're looking at it when you're looking at mm -hmm. the label yeah like it, it smells totally different from when you know what you're about to smell versus yeah. like a blind it's crazy i've never yeah. done that before that's crazy huh yeah no, you, you should do it with Frank. that, was a, that yeah. was a cool show man that, yeah that, that was fun yeah yeah because a uh, girls and crystal they were doing and then crystal got on and then she tried she got the most she is yeah beast she, she recognized the she recognized them right away too right? yeah and she's got like five, six different rose scented soaps, all different artisans, and she knew exactly which rose it was. Wow. So I'm yeah, surprised not she's not more of a frag head. Mel, you gotta tell school her, tell her what frags to get. So yeah. <laughs> what I like. But um but yeah, yeah, it, it's 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 hard. So I challenge anybody to do it. But yeah, get a hold of Gardner and Amelia too. I, I, we need we need to get uh maybe on the next artisan spotlight you gotta you gotta see if an artisan could guess their uh soaps blah blind. Oh yeah. That'd oh, be, that would be good, man. Well, I yeah. know Pete was yeah, at, that'd be awesome. at a hotel for the meetup in in uh with uh uh with Poppy with um David Gonzalez right now in California. Uh, yeah. But yeah, imagine getting Pete to try to figure out his own sense <laughs> or anybody. Yeah. yeah, that'd be funny. Heck yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Fun. Thank you for hanging out um, in the remote location here for the Razor <laughs> Company. <laughs> yeah, Mel, I got to score that one. I got to find that. Um, but uh, no, Kim, she was doing her hair. She just walked out to check on our daughter. So <laughs> uh, she's like, if she was in the bathroom, like, no, she was doing her hair. Not she just, hopefully, more coffee. So <laughs> but, um, but yeah, thank you guys for coming out. Nikki. William, Mel, all you guys are awesome. Love all you guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you everybody, for coming out. And uh, hope to see you guys soon. And then next Spotlight coming up on Friday and also next Saturday. So talk to you later, guys. Thank you, you everybody. Later, guys. Later, guys. Enjoy, yeah. y'all. Boom. <laughs>